So a couple updates before we get started. I have made a magnifying glass. It's pretty adjustable and uh, it's nice and pretty. Check it out. It's on my uh, utilities page. And I also was able to get the uh, go to definition working with the fields on uh, dev box. Uh, last find term. Go to definition brings me up to the uh, definition. Still a uh, work in progress though. So working well. Okay, so let's create a new project. And we're going to put two property grids in there. Actually, let's put a split container in there first. And it's docked good. And we're going to fill dock the property grid view. And we're going to call this property grid general. And we're going to paste the same thing. Um, sorry, we're going to paste another one in the second panel of the split container. Call it property grid start info. And we shouldn't have the split container docked because that's just not going to work out. We're going to have some controls at the bottom and some controls at the top. So let's add a combo box to the t to the top. Combo box. And anchor it. And I'm going to anchor my split container as well. Anchor full. And we're going to add a button at the bottom to kill the uh, process. Call it button kill. Uh, kill selected process. Okay. And then anchor that as well. Okay, let's go into our code. Actually, I got to create a refresh button as well to refresh our list. Okay, so let's create our process object. Diagnostics, okay. And we are going to create a process array, call it underscore processes is equal to process and get processes and we will not use any arguments it will just get all of the active processes private okay now we're going to set our combo box this space up here is bothering me okay and we're going to say populate combo box we're going to iterate through all of the processes the active processes for each process process in processes uh, combo box one dot items dot add process name process name I gotta rename my combo box to CMB process is I really hate that word process is okay now we need to go to the combo box selected index changed and uh, create a handler for it and in the handler we are going to populate our uh, property grids so we're going to start off by checking to see if the selected index is not equal to negative one and if it isn't then
we're golden. Okay. Now let's just make a thing called index. CMB processes dot selected index. And we're gonna populate our first property grid view. So property grid general dot selected object is equal to processes index. So we are assigning the process, uh, the current process that is selected, and we're using, we're indexing the processes array using the combo box index because it's the combo box names that are listed kind of uh, mask the actual processes. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing for the property grid start info selected object. So at this time, we're going to assign the what you would call it the processes start info. It's going to contain a lot about the um, process. Okay, let's go to our refresh button. And I forgot to actually clear the combo box. So combo box items clear. And we are going to call this method in the refresh button just to repopulate. And we need to add the kill process functionality. So we're going to do try catch. And we're going to try to kill a process. We're going to check to see if, again, the combo box selected index is equal to negative 1. If it isn't, then we'll go, we'll follow through. Processes, combo box selected index, kill. And we're simply going to display a message box here, a message box dialog. bit of a heads up. We uh, can't actually effectively kill a process without some elaborate code. Most, A lot of the processes are system level and you're going to need some permissions that you need to raise before trying to kill them and uh, some other stuff. And we can't get the, um, the owner of the process without writing some elaborate function that's beyond this video and that I'm not familiar with. We'll just go ahead and do what we can. Okay, I'm going to boot it up. I'm going to select a process. So dev box server that's minimized to tray here. And uh, we've got a little, well, a lot of properties. I don't think the uh, you can actually change the process using the property grid view like this for instance. It's not going to affect the process at all. But we can we can kill the process if it's owned by us, if it's owned by the user that's currently logged in. So I'm going to kill it. There goes my server. And I attempted to update the list box after killing it and actually waiting till the process is killed but didn't really work out. Somebody said that you can use process wait to kill after you kill it or something like that. It didn't work. Okay, so yeah, you've got your list here of all your active processes. You can kill them. And you know how to start a process, of course. That's pretty much it for this video.